aboard a Friday Night Blitz. The season already underway in Arkansas with the new Week Zero this year. That's right, and Arkansas High Razorbacks with a marquee matchup under their belt. A big win last week over Shiloh Christian in dominating fashion. Let's go ahead and get into the Arkansas highlights. Can the Hogs make it a 2-0 start? Taking on Liberty Ilo. I mentioned earlier this week, if the Hogs can pick up a win tonight, they may make it into the top six on NBC6. And uh, we got a touchdown pass there for Arkansas High. That was that went to, to Jordan Mask, and then a big game by Liberty Ilo's Telfalian Cooper. And he fumbles, and Arkansas High recovers. Let's go ahead and pop that score up. Arkansas High comes up with another big victory. They topped Liberty Ilo 20 to six. The Nashville Scrappers hitting the road for their second game, taking on Hope Nashville right here with a deep pass, making it all the way down to the five-yard line. That is by Basselier right there, hauling it in, and they're going to cash in on that. Already up seven to nothing. Ty Gordon is going to take it in for the score. That extends the lead to 14. Nashville is often always putting up big numbers and they're going to take it in for another score right here that would make it 21 to nothing in nashville scrappers go on the road and they are coming home with a big win they take it 63 to 6. another big offensive output for the scrappers spring hill panthers at home for week one welcoming conway christian to town and field the kickoff here at about the 10 yard line take it out get it out to about a nice little return here out to about the 45 50 yard line but that was about all that was positive early in this game conway christian comes right back here this is going to be brandon shaw he's going to break several tackles and take it all the way into the end zone for the touchdown that made it seven nothing conway christian a little bit later conway christian going to strike again this time it's nick sherry on the reception, takes it in for the touchdown. All Conway Christian in this one. They take down the Bears, 41-6, the final. Foreman and Smackover meeting up in the Hootens Classic. This one was Monday night. This is Smackover's Greg Turner eluding the defenders, and he will take it to the house. Smackover with an early lead in this one, but Foreman QB Kyron Bay saying, hey, I can do a little bit of that too. He's going to take it, keep it himself, bouncing to the outside. Going to take out a few ta would be tacklers right there, cuts back inside, and then he'll take it all the way for the touchdown. The Gators looked good early in this one, but committed five turnovers in the game as they fall to smack over 45 to 24. Falk also playing in that Hootens Classic, taking on Parker's Chapel at Southern Arkansas. Early on, Kate Foster taking it in for the early score. Panthers in the lead. A little bit later, feeding Foster again. Another easy score for the Panthers. Finally coming up right here. He's going to take it in off the right side into the end zone for the touchdown. Falk in control. Parker's Chapel made a late run in this one, but Falk able to hold them off. They take it 26 to 21. Let's head over to Oklahoma. Now Idabel making the short trip to Broken Bow to take on the Savages. That's Cody Green in for the Broken Bow touchdown. Idabel. Well, they're going to try to get something going on offense as well. A great grab by the receiver right here for a nice gain. He'd be brought down, but nothing coming of the drive for the Warriors. Broken Boat now with the ball, and that is Tristan Polk. He is going to get come up on the receiving end of that one, takes it in for another Broken Boat touchdown. Idabel going on the road, but coming up empty-handed as Broken Bow takes this one big, 57 to nothing, the final. Staying in McCurtain Cali County, Valiant at home to take on Green Hill. Green Hill scores first, but Valiant comes right back with a great return from Marcus Jordan. And then the very next play, it's going to be Seth Jones. He's going to take the little bubble screen and he is going to break several tackles, and then it's a foot race. He's going to take it in for the touchdown. Valiant, a huge win tonight, 56 to 20, the final in that one. Nice that we can make it up there to McCurtain County. It's not, it's very far away. It's not often we get to get up there, but Terry Sneed made the drive for us tonight. Shout out to our guy Terry, always getting a bunch of stuff up there for us, making the long trip and coming up with some great looking highlights. That's right. All right, coming up on the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz, 
We're making our way back to Louisiana. And that's right, Tim. Mansfield, Huntington, Bossier, and Loyola all coming your way after the break. Yeah!